Good morning, everybody. Charlie here with Red Summit RF. I am still at Dayton. We're wrapping things up Sunday. We're at Cowan Lake, and I have uh, uh, been tagging along with a few guys that you might know. Hi, Thomas K4SWL. All right, and? Hi, Eric McFadden, WDRF. Miles, K8 KNC. And? And Vince, AI7LK, south of the border. You know me better as VE6LK. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. We're going to see what happens today. I think the band conditions I hear are not that great. We're going to try and get us all activated. And I'm just going to go around maybe do some footage. I may or may not get on the air, but I think it'll be a fun activation either way. So we'll catch you in a bit. Well, any good Poda operator knows that you, diet have to, coke. you have to come with Diet Coke. And see, even in here. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Vince has it down. Vince has it down. This is not Vince's normal setup. Normally, I just work out of a Rubbermaid tub out of the back of my truck. But here we are today out of the back of the car and in my carry-on bag. You know, desperate times, man. Do you like my new KX3 bag, Charlie? I think it's wonderful. It's a Walmart lunch bag that I put a <laughs> KX3 button on. It's awesome. Awesome. So, Eric. Yep. What, uh, tell us a little bit about what you got here. Hourcraft KX3 with a 28 and a half foot wire, well it's an end fed, configured as a radial with three 17 foot counterpoise wires through a 4 to 1 unin. Yep. Mast is, it's a jackite 31 foot mast, top section collapsed. Cool. And then you have your big clipboard here or something. And and big clipboard. And you're a paper logger, which is paper logger. awesome. All right. I don't expect we'll make so many QSOs today. That'll be a problem. We shall see, right? <laughs> All right, good go. What is this? Well, that's your key. Oh, that's the key. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Tell me about that. ES made it. I've not used it yet. It's a it's a it's, it's a pressure a, paddle or a yeah, uh, touch paddle. Touch paddle. So we'll see how it works. This is my first time using it. Cool. Who made it? Brian K three ES. Okay. Yep. Met him for the first time this weekend. Cool. And this is a guy from my own heart. We are just sitting and watching, watching it happen. Uh, well, I got the antenna strung. And I'm not quite great at figuring out how long my antenna is, so I've had to take a turn in the tree. <laughs> but Malin, who built this antenna, tells me with this coil in it that it can survive being in many different configurations. So okay. uh, I'm going to find out for the first time today because usually it's up there nice and straight in a nice little row. I think you're going to be fine. I think I will be too. So Malin made this antenna for you. What, it's, it's a, uh, what is it, an NFED half wave then? It's an NFED half wave with a, a nice little wound ballon inside the box. Okay. Uh, and uh, no counterpoise? 60 something feet of wire. 60 feet, of, okay. Is there a counterpoise? Uh, no, there's no counterpoise. All right. And you know, I've, sometimes I put a 90 degree connector on it here. You can see I've got a loop, so if I hang it, the 90 degree will come out and it won't stress out my coax. I use RG174 coax, yep. really nice silicone coated stuff. Cool. I'll come back and get the rest of your, your station here in a minute. Yeah, man. Nice park. Um, but I'm on 17 meters. I'm just using a 28 and a half foot wire into the tree and a 28 and a half foot counterpoise going along right here. Let's see if somebody comes back. With the KX2 and the KX2 key. Mm -hmm. But the bands are very quiet. So are they? We'll see what happens. Yeah, that's what we we're afraid of. But you couldn't ask for a better place to look out over the lake. Check it out. Vince has gone on his about a sixth, seventh contact right now. He's almost got a, this park activated. By the way, check out his YouTube channel. Just, just do a search for VE6LK. Oh, here we're at AI-3.
Now he knows it's me. Me? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Not bad for a dummy load. Not bad for a dummy load at all. Okay, let me hop in here and explain something real quick. I was so happy to have been invited on this Parks on the Air activation. At this point in the video, the three activators had received their 10 contacts necessary to activate the park. And then after they had done that, I had hopped on uh, Vince's radio and I was trying to, to get my 10. I was at number nine and I, and I operated for, for maybe 10 minutes uh, calling CQ and couldn't get that 10th activation, that, sorry, that 10th uh, contact. And so that's when Thomas hopped in and he went ahead and uh, used the dummy load and got me that uh, 10th contact. We were in a hurry. I had to get to the airport soon and so we still had another park to do. So uh, we, we, we did that and then we hopped over to the next park which is about five minutes away. And uh, we, at that point, they invited me to just do the activation first and Vince opted not to activate. That way that we could get going and they could just continue uh, activating that park. I just don't want to hit your yeah. car. I learned. Oh, are you that, recording? Well, there's no any sharp edges on it, Thomas. I am, but I don't have to put it in. No, I just didn't want to be too. Holy <laughs> you're good at that. Nah, it just. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one shot. Okay, now we take this. Vince was impressed. I'm very impressed. Um, oh, I can't say that word on Phil. Can the what? I'll just... It's the uh, Pactena 9 to 1 Unin in fed, and random, in fed random wire. And it's a fantastic antenna. It's very quick to deploy, and I have a 31 or 35 foot uh, radiator on it. So we're doing a vertical. Yeah, it'll be a vertical. Let me just lay this out this way. I'll stick it up, and now we'll put a nice chair under the shade for you. Um, hey, Eric, could you get one of your regular chairs for Charlie? That'll be a little faster. I could just I don't I could just kneel or sit on the grass. No, I'm a soda guy. Chairs. Dude, believe me. No, I know you can't, but <laughs> why not do it in comfort before you Why not? Fly? Why not? And I actually have a kneeboard if you'd like to use it. Uh I think I use my phone, so oh for the paddle maybe? Yeah, I think I'll be fine. I wonder if I need to clear that other, that other, uh... Nope. I don't... When you show up at a new spot, it'll close the other one.
It's K9042, is that right? 9402. 9402. Sorry, Joe. Not sorry, sorry. <laughs> it's just... I finally figured out that's a song. What's that? Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry, yeah. I was saying, in particular, the Reese's. So let me tell you what Charlie's dealing with here. So Charlie normally <laughs> is on a nice little summit somewhere out in Arizona. It's nice and peaceful and quiet. Here he has to deal with QRM and the QRM is this. This is a highway. <laughs> and it presents its challenges, especially on a day like today where the propagation is so poor and so weak. It seems like every time I've heard him try to work a weak station <laughs> that's when a car passes by or a truck or something it's been kind of wild actually he's doing a great job though so this is k4swl here giving you a little bit of commentary while he's working on this he just needs one more and because he's pressed for time to make it to the airport we can all work him park to park hf using a dummy load perfectly legitimate uh, and parks on the air. Usually activators don't do this unless we have to do it. And that would be Eric. Well, after being spotted on the wrong park for this whole activation, um, I was still able to get six contacts, but we, uh, we had to have uh, Vince and Thomas and Eric and Miles work me to get my final four so we could get out of here and, and uh, get to the airport. So I really enjoyed this activation. It was so fun. Thank you so much, Vince and Eric and Miles and, and uh, Thomas for inviting me along. Uh, just had a ball. So we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching and uh, don't forget to check, catch, check out Vince's YouTube channel and also Thomas's YouTube channel. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.